Well, hello there. I'm Dana of Stories with Auntie Dana. And I say Auntie because that's exactly how I like to read my stories. It's a fun, loving Auntie. And we have a book today called I Love Grandma. And this book is by Lizzie Boyd. You can see her name there. So do you have a grandma? Um, or maybe a Nana or an Uma. There's lots of different names for that special lady in your life. I love Grandma and Cuddle on the Couch. Okay, reading glasses. Here we go. When Mommy and Daddy go away, I stay at Grandma's house. Grandma tucks me into a bed she calls my lovely nest. When the birds sing, come and wake me up, she says. There's a special spot in Grandma's house when he stays over. When I wake up, I go to Grandma's room. It's still dark, she says. Hop in and we'll listen for the birds together. We play the pretend breakfast game. What would you like, she asks. Pancakes and apples and maple syrup, I say. Yummy. Grandma and I eat our pretend breakfast. <laughs> After our real breakfast, we go to yoga. In class, I watch everything Grandma does and I do it too. My favorite part is when we stand on our heads. I giggle so hard I fall over. All Grandma's friends say I am just like her. Silly, silly, silly. And there they are. Standing. He's falling over, laughing so hard, he says. After yoga, we go swimming. Grandma holds me up and I float. Look at me, Grandma. When we finish, Grandma wraps me in lots of towels and we take a walk around the garden. There, Grandma's holding him up. So walk around the garden. Oh, look at the lawn chairs and the flowers. Pretty. Grandma tells me the names of the flowers. She shows me the weeds. Let's pull those out so the flowers have more room to grow, she says. So the names of some of the flowers. Do you know some? Um, daffodils, tulips, daisies, roses, carnations. There's a whole bunch more. Can you think of some? Grandma lets me make lunch. We have tiny peanut butter and lettuce sandwiches. These are delicious, says Grandma. And just the right size. Look, cute little sandwiches for lunch. They get to do that together. After lunch, Grandma is busy. So I open the toy box. Grandma's old toy. No, my mommy's old toys are in there. So that means if his mommy's toys are in there, that his grandma is his mom's mom. Cool. Let's get cozy on the couch and read, says grandma. I'm just going to close my eyes for a minute, she says. I take a tiny nap too. Later, we go out for a drive and play the song game. I hum a tune, but Grandma can't guess it. Then I baa like a sheep to give her a clue. Ba ba black sheep, says Grandma. <laughs> Let me see if I try humming a tune for you. Can you guess it? Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> itsy bitsy spider went up the water's boat. <laughs> if you didn't guess it, 
probably did. Grandma's house has secret places. I go exploring while she makes dinner. I like the closet under the stairs. Where are you hiding, little mouse? calls Grandma. She finds me in my tiny house. So some houses have a crawl space under the stairs and just right for a little playroom. Grandma has a trunk full of costumes. Sometimes I put one on for dinner. Who am I eating with tonight? I say, says Grandma. I say, watch me make my dinner disappear. So he must be a magician, huh? Someone who knows magic. So making dinner disappear, you know what? You could do it too. You just have to eat it. All right, what's next? <gasps> Later, Grandma puts me in a bubble bath. She makes me a pearly necklace and a crown. So that would be out of the bubbles. Necklace, crown. Now me, says Grandma. I make her a long pointy hat and a beard. <laughs> kiss, kiss, says Grandma. Give me just one bubbly kiss. Grandma helps me dress. Mummy calls. Woohoo! We're here. It's time to go. I love you, Grandma says, giving me a big hug. I love you too, Grandma. Oh. I just love a sweet story. Take care.